Rachel here with Rachel's Unique Crafts and we're here to make another wreath real quick. So I have our 14 inch wreath frame which yields usually a 23 to 25 inch wreath depending on the width of the um, mesh. So um, I'm happy for y'all to join me today. It's going to be another nautical and we're going to use this anchor. I bought it at home, from at home store, probably a year or two ago, probably two years ago, but I've never um, used it. So this was a thick enough piece of wood. I did not do the, the cardboard and all when I nailed it in here or stapled it. Um, so I stapled the pipe cleaners into here and did some hot glue on top. So this is how we're going to attach our uh, wreath attachment today. So let's get started. Let's get this party started. All right, so we're gonna use this, um, this is a fabric, uh, 10 inch mesh. It is very soft. I love the fabric mesh. Now this is a poly um, mesh. It's a, um, it feels almost like this. It's a softer poly uh, mesh. So this is the colors that we're going with. It's a navy blue and khaki color, or what I call a khaki color. So, um, with this, let's see, with this bin, let's just roll that. Let's see if we can do it like this. The um, fabric mesh is just, to me, easier to work with, I guess, because it is softer. Just my opinion. Let's see. I'm going to pull it out a little bit. And I'm not rolling a whole bunch because I'm just wanting just enough to get these edges, the raw edge, turned in. Is basically um, all we're really wanting to accomplish here. And then it puts a nice little curl right like that. Pretty one. So, there, we're just going to roll it, press straight down, gather it, and then walk your fingers. Some of the little, um, meshes are hard to ruffle like without it being um, clamped down, turn it around and go again. Um, but the fabric mesh is just, it's my favorite to work with. It just really is. So, how is everyone doing? Are y'all having a, a good day? Hope everyone's well. Healthy, wealthy vibes. I have got um, <laughs> all kinds of ribbon out. Just finished one nautical wreath and started on the second one. These videos will be posted on different days. I needed to knock two of them out. So I said, well, why not just record, give y'all something to watch. Just 
roll it, and lock it up. I feel like it is summertime in here. Some people are getting snow and we're sweating. Although in the next few days, this next coming next week, it's going to be down in the 20s. I told my husband, I said, look at this weather pattern. Look at the temperatures that it's, it's like a yo-yo. A freaking yo-yo. Okay, let's see. Moved over. Move that over. Get my hole cleaned out. So my, you all know my computer had crashed, and I was able to get it after two days get it back up and open uh, I don't trust it and I was able to get my pictures and my videos to a portable hard drive so I feel better about that now it says it put on the hard drive. I'm just trusting that it, that it did. I know very little about techie stuff. Last year, um, I was able to build me a website, RachelsUniqueCrafts.com, but it was with the guidance and a teacher Damon with Deco Exchange, he's my business coach, and um, he offered a course for us to build our own websites, and him and Miss Christine taught it. They were very good. I have to say they were very good because um, I couldn't have done it without them. They walked us through step by step. It was amazing. So without step step by step instructions, mm -mm, you can't do it. I have to have somebody tell me how to do it, what to do, and how to do it. Could I do it again? Not unless I had. Did, did it by the course again. It's the only way. So, anyhow. I love a burlap base wreath. They just, they look so good to me. is just so easy to work with. I would say if, you, if you're just starting out and you want to make wreaths, I would say use the fabric mesh to learn with because you don't have to fight with it as much. And then definitely get you some high quality wire ribbon. You may practice with some El Chifo ribbon, you know, if you have never made bows or whatever, but um, you'll find that it's easier to work with a good quality of wire ribbon also. You don't have to fight with it as much. Okay. We're just moving right along. On the last one, I cut, cut mesh and everything with y'all. Um, 
baby step by step instructions on the other nautical reef. This one, I think I got pretty much everything ready to go on. It's just, except the bow, we haven't made the bow yet. But that is something that a lot of people struggle with. So I usually don't ever pre-make my bow so that people can watch. ribbons I love to do that because you get more ribbons more patterns more colors flowing all the way through it so I have these three I have the anchors the burlap and the stripes and this I have a plaid I have stripes and I have anchors so I've got um, all three colors on both of them I love, love, love to do this. So, um, I love, love, love to just tear them apart. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to use three and three on the top. So, let's get this party started. All right. Let's. Go ahead, I'm gonna put them down in there and twist and kind of pull my ribbons apart a little bit. So I want to be able to see some of all of the ribbons, okay? And why I put them in there if you don't hide them all. Now, as I go, I didn't cut enough of this because I had cut for the, my other wreath and I knew I cut extra, but I didn't keep track of how many I cut. So, um, so I was kind of in a hurry, but we're going to go ahead and do this step. And it's just my tool, and that way I don't have to go back, and I don't have to touch this set of ribbons anymore as far as doing anything to them. So, I've already got my tool in there, 
and everything. So, see how it's got the tool? Now, I'll show you with this one how it looks without the tool. So, I'm just, I don't undo my pipe cleaner. I just lay them in there. And I twist and twist. And I'll take and kind of spread out my my ribbons a bit. Now, that's what it looks like without the tool. Now, turn it over here. lay over it a little bit. See the difference? So with the tool, without without the tool. It's backwards for me because of um, mirroring. So I like to put the tool in there. Some people don't like to take the time to do it. They don't, but um, and if you're gonna put flowers or something on top, it wouldn't really matter greenery um but i don't think flowers and greenery would go too good with this we definitely aren't doing that to, to this one so now once i get the tool in there i'm through with that one and i don't have to come back and touch it again you know because like on the last or usually the race i just go around Doing all the ribbons, then I'll come back and do the tool. If you do it this way, then you just cut out that next step of coming back to it. And I'm going to have to cut some more because I have like one more already pre-cut. This way, when you go to put your bow on and all, you've already got all this done. You're ready to just go on with the, the wreath. Go on with it. And you're still seeing some of the um, mesh. You're not covering it up. You're not covering it up. I love this combo of mesh together. Makes for a beautiful wreath. We have two more, and we're through with the top. The top row. Make a bow and put our um, attachment on. Um, let me go ahead and put this one in. I'm going to cut some um, tool real quick. I'm going to need 10, 11, nine, 9 for the bottom, 2 more for this top. you down up here anyway, did we? So I cut them at 10 inches. So there's two.
Trying to see white tool. It's kind of hard. Kind of just fades in with everything else. Okay. So we have all our tool. That's the only thing I guess I didn't make sure I had everything done on. ribbons. Taking it right there where it crisscrosses. You can go up or down. I'm going up on the top side this time because I'm upside down. Then we're going to twist it and twist it. You can just fold it like that and then fold it up under those ribbons. It'll be fine. Or you can snip it and then fold the rest stuff it up under there. Then I take, and you can. You can be pretty stout with these because I've got them tight and I'm confident that I've got them tight. So I can tug on them and split them. So you still see your mesh there. You still see your mesh there. Your mesh is coming through up here and around. So you still see your mesh peeping out. And then you've got all your ribbon tails. So that part is done. We just got to put our anchor on and put our um, bow on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do our bow. All right, 
I twist two together, two pipe cleaners. Then I take and twist it back around either one of them and they will not come loose whatsoever. I'm gonna put that in the bottom. Let's see, let me use one of these. up to something and not know it. Okay. I'm just going to roll this up. Just like so. Mash it down. Gather it. Slide it in there. Nice and tight. Okay. Um, I'm going to go through with this now. Let's see. And we're going to use that. That's two components that we didn't use throughout the wreath. But in my bow, I always like to throw something in there that I haven't used in the wreath. Um, just to give it a little bit of a different um, look. Let's see. Let's start out with our burlap here. We're gonna make our bow, put our anchor on, and we'll be done. It'll be all she wrote. Let's do a um, 13 inch tail. This little clothespin is my little helping finger there. All right, let's do about, it's almost seven. Pretty close. these and have that part done. We put it on there to be ready. All right, let's see if we've got enough of this. Mm. I don't think we're going to have enough to do two loops. So let's do this. I want some blue in there on top of the burlap. I like to um, do a different color on each level. I don't like to, to do burlap on top of burlap. You know, let's do something different. So I wanted to put one in there with some blue. Let's make sure we got those. Are you at the door? I mean, I don't know if you's on. I'm recording. <laughs> huh? I'm recording. I'm almost done. 
We're making a bow, putting our sign on, our attachment, our anchor, and we will be done. left so we didn't empty that roll wheel that one didn't get us three more rolls no you use up a roll you're you're supposed to go buy three more so all right now we can add this bad boy. I like these anchors because they're going up and down. They're not just going one way. That makes bow making much easier. There's three rolls, right? Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Nose is getting stuffy, I guess, I think because it's so hot. The song is so hot up in here. So that's all that's left of that one. Three more rolls. Let's see what we're going to do next. Um, I'd use that, but Breaking all the rules. This one does have all the anchors going in the same direction, it would be the one that I would pick to go next, wouldn't it? Okay. Nope. Can't do that. twist back here okay all right twist again I hear the telephone Somebody's called me. Okay, damn. All right. We're cutting this off. And we're going to need a cheater tail. So we're going to have to put a cheater tail in here. slide yeah. 
Okay. Use all this either. All right. this ribbon. I used it on the last one. It's got that denim strip. I got this from Hobby Lobby. Um, and it's not split. It's a, a full piece of ribbon wire and then that uh, denim put on top. I really like that. I really, really do. Okay. So, that's a wrap, y'all. With the bow. And I did not finish duck telling all these. So let's do that real quick. And One finger here, one finger here, on each side of the dowels. Now it's got a crease where those dowels were. See, they're like a, they do like that. So it's got a crease. And if I don't hurry up, that crease is gonna fall. So I'm gonna put my zip tie right there in that crease. I'm gonna let that zip tie just come on out of there. So I've got it pulled pretty snug, but not tight. So I'm just kind of bringing my ribbons around. This center of this one loop, I'm gonna pull over. already dovetailed and they're layered let's get this beauty back up here Putting pipe cleaners or wires or anything through a wreath. You just fold it, shoot it through there. You are good to go. Good to go. And I shoot it right through all those um, layers of mesh and through the, the biggest parts of them. That way it helps for your bow to stand up taller. This mesh just grabs on to everything. Got one through. Let me pull this other one through. You just 
take it and fold it over. Find a big old loop to go through on a mesh. Pull her on down. It just takes the fight out of out of the game. And I'm just wrapping that pipe cleaner around the frame a few times to hold it until I can get the rest of it tied down. And I always know I find a cross tie so that it doesn't slide like my glasses. Okay. Oh, it's pretty. Who doesn't love a navy blue nautical wreath? Now, what I'm talking about, this mesh grabbing, it's the, it's the very edge of that mesh, and it's all, all mesh. It just grabs hold, and whether it's ribbons or tool or, or another piece of mesh, go That's probably the way I'm gonna do it right there. Alright, I'm gonna bring this around the frame. Two or three loops to make sure that it ain't I pull it tight so it ain't going nowhere. Then we're gonna come up here. I'm gonna run this through. And I'm going through right here. You see this big bubble of a piece of mesh? That curl. That curl is what I'm talking about on the end. I'm going through it. That way it holds it up better. I want to go through as many layers of mesh that I can. Make a rhyme or reason to have ribbons in the way they're going. I'm trying to figure out that is about like a puzzle. Okay, we're going to take this one, 
All right. that across and it's kind of down here at an angle and we're going to tie this one off we're going to tie the top of that rope and this one's done this one is done all right so we're going to get a So we'll take this wire and go down to where both of them are. We'll snip it. Right, now we're going to take it down through here. that and it's going to go around this cross bar also brought it right out at it couldn't have done it better if I'd have planned on it Okay, now, so you will never know how it's put in there because I just put a piece of wire around it and it's right down in there. You would literally have to pull on it out, pull it out to, to see how it was attached and it's just gonna sit there in place. Like it knows what it's doing. I love this one. I love the simplicity. You know, no words. It just, just the anchors just speak for themselves. And the symbolization of the anchors is just, just love them. Jesus is my anchor, and. seas and rough waters. He is truly my anchor. I think of the lighthouse. All right. I think it's beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And you do still see the mesh. You see plenty of the mesh. beautiful so thank y'all for hanging out with me I appreciate it um, know that I love each and every one of you 
and I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of the day, the night, whenever you're watching this. And I hope you get to crafting and make something beautiful. And I will see y'all next time. Love y'all.